transformation is huge when I was editing it and looking back at it before and after I was like wow so I'm so glad I finally got around to redecorating my bedroom and that I filmed it so you guys get to see the whole process as well I'm sure I'm not alone in deciding to redecorate during this quarantine so comment down below if you're watching this because you're going to be redecorating or if you've already redecorated let me know how it went I'm going to try and leave everything linked below just in case you see an item that you like in this video before we get started if you haven't subscribed already be sure to go down below and hit that big red subscribe button it's absolutely free and it really helps me out all right let's show you what my bedroom looked like before so first of all ignore the ugliness straight away you can see my bedroom was really dull and dark with the red it was also really cluttered and nothing really matched and it was also kind of messy which probably didn't help <laughs> because of the dark colors the room felt really small and because of that I kind of just left it alone this shot shows it from another side if I were to be standing by the window is going to be my main feature walls. This is the wall that we're going to focus on first. So as you can see, I've moved my bed out of the way now, taking the pictures off the wall. Then we're going to mask and tape all around the edges. So that's basically the first job. Here's the paint. It's called Chic Shadow, this paint. And I got matte as well, because I prefer matte. So we've got two things of that, which should be absolutely ample. officially all dry but it's completely finished all the coats of paint are done I'm absolutely loving how it's looking we're gonna get on the other wall now and this lovely wall is being painted white and I can't wait to not see it red anymore Okay guys, the white wall is now completely finished. All coats of paint have been done and it's looking absolutely fabulous. All that's left to do now is these big cupboards up here. So that's the job for today. We've got a new helper today. <laughs> no! <laughs> Imagine you just started painting the wrong bit of wall. <laughs> from this website called Destinio. I've chosen the three prints that I want, um, so I'm gonna get go ahead and order all that now, um, and then I'm gonna order some other little bits, but I'm just getting into like, the decor side of things now, now that the painting's pretty much done, which is really exciting. I'm just catching up really quickly to say that basically my room has pretty much come together now. These are the ugly curtains that I have now, just the horrible shiny red. So the last sort of steps is waiting for those to arrive and hopefully they're coming today. Because of coronavirus, it's been a big delay. They were meant to come about two weeks ago now. And yesterday I had my IKEA bedside tables delivered. Um, so I'm so excited. So the next sort of step now is to get building those, wait for them, change this, and then we'll pretty much be ready for the big reveal. All right guys, it's time to build. Can I do it? Probably not. Am I gonna use lots of help? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Let me just appreciate how funny those pictures are.
they have arrived. I'm just using this Amazon gift card so you can't see my address. Um, it's smaller than I thought because it's meant to have cushions, which I think I can see in here. Two great cushions. And, and then my curtains, and my curtains are meant to be huge, but maybe this is the curtain and the pillows are in here. I'm not sure. Should we get it open? Yay! Oh my god, they're really huge! Anyone else's cat just always try and get in the videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here are the two pillows and they are from Dun Elm. I will leave them linked below. Um, I got two of them and they were £10 each. They are such a nice material. Um, and also the fur, it just feels like, you know some pillows, you feel like the fur is just gonna molt off. Well, I don't get that with this. So yeah, I'll leave those linked below. And then my curtains were meant to be £80, but they were reduced to 68 So I'm not sure if they were reduced because they're gonna be selling out. So if they are still on the website, I'll link those below as well. Then these should be my curtains. They've actually got um, like gray white to them. Can you see that? I just wanted to show you guys this bedding that I just got for the new room. It's from George Home, which is part of Asda, and I never would have thought of getting bedding from Asda. But I saw this one on the shelf, and it really wasn't too expensive, and it looks like quite good quality, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I really like the pattern that's on it, and it also comes in this little bag, I don't know if you can see that. All the bedding's in like this little bag, which I think is really cool. So I can't wait to put this in the new bedroom. <laughs> that I've just started to do is already so much cleaner than this. Oh my god, the difference. Here, look, this is half. So I just did this bit and that's where I stopped. Okay guys, so my Desenio prints have finally arrived today. Desenio, Desenio, I don't really know how you say it. They actually didn't take too long to come and they also come in this really cool tube. They're also really nicely wrapped inside so there's no risk of damage or creasing or anything which is great. So this is the final part now, getting these prints on the wall and then we're basically finished and I'm so excited because the bedroom is looking so much better and I can't believe that I've waited this long to finally do it but I'm glad that I filmed the process so you guys get to see. But yeah, gonna get my dad to put these on the wall now. full bedroom transformation i really hope you enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also hit that subscribe button so you can catch the rest of my videos turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss a single video from me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys